welcome back in today's video we're going to be doing how to draw michael myers from halloween here we go let's begin first thing we're going to do is draw a dot in the middle of the paper right here from that we're going to dot out top and the bottom of the circle the right hand side the left hand side that's just so i can help me draw my circle i'm sure you've seen before and I can draw a circle, a nice size. We're going to draw a line down the middle. I'm going to use my ruler because it's just 10 times faster if you use a ruler. And then we're going to do one on the left side. This line is 4.6, 4.6 on this side as well. So line on the right side, so three vertical lines and a circle. One across the middle. And then from that to circle. Mm -hmm. Too much yellow circles. Right size. Just rubbing out the excess circle lines. My cut is rough line. Right. So then from there. Boom. The circle. We're going to put in eyes to the left. Right here. And on the right. Right here. This side, same. So we do another vertical line. This is the nose. Same on this side. So now we've got nose. And the eyes start here. It's the smaller part. Now how big do we want the eyes? Do that. Go another line. For the eyes. So you got eye one, eye two. And here is the nose. I just do a little line about that far up from the nose. A little circle there representing the nose. Right, and then from that, we've got another line. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, the bottom of the nose, then we have the lips, then we've got the chin. So from the lips, Got a dimple and the chin. Maybe about there. Right, so let's get the structure of the shapes of the face out. So from here, where his eye is, straight up to here. I'm going to draw a line here. This is his forehead. And that is going to join to the side. Like that. So make that shape. From here. Point there. The lips line here. Lips. Right, this line here, we're going to join, we're going to make a triangle from the eyes, from the eyes here. So from here, this story, we're going to draw a line diagonal 
to that. So from here, we're going to draw a line up to here. It's kind of like drawing dot to dot. And this line here, draw from here to there. Yep. That's the side of his hair. Draw these lines a little extended. So now, from here, this dot here in the middle to the top of the forehead is the exact same length that we're going to do for the forehead. So draw a line across here. And then from there, we're going to do a triangle. So you've got a nice little triangle there. That is negative space, that's not part of the drawing, but that is how we're going to get it in. Then it comes across the top, is here. Remember, we're just drawing squares to get the shapes out. And then we'll add the details in. This side, line straight a little bit. And it burns back a bit, so. Around about here, and that goes up. In comparison to that one, it's a little lower, so there, and then down, then up, and here you've got a triangle again. So another triangle. That's the triangle. And then here, comes out to there. Another shape like this, triangular. And this comes down to the nose line. So we've got a nose line here, the bottom of the nose, that. This goes up here. And then we've got this being the lips. The lips are in line with the center of the eye, I think. So the eye's about there. It's just wider than the nose. That's the lips. And then on that side. There, yeah, that being the lips, then the chin line. So I'm going to rub that one out, and then from the chin line, I'm, I'm going to draw an oblong. For the chin. And that turns up, and this side the chin turns up, and it goes to here. So there you've got a chin, and then his neck comes down from here. This is like the boiler suit coming out. And underneath that, his mask will end. Like that. So, here we have, through this line, bottom of the nose, make that triangle. This is the boiler suit. Follow that through, and that's going to come down like that. And 
Right, so now we're going to fill it in. Kind of looks a bit like Elvis Presley. So rub out some guidelines that we don't need on the edges. And put in some details. And so for the nose, we'll start here with the nose. It comes up. Nice and round and up and down. It's like a U shape. The eye is like kind of on a slant. I'm going to draw his eye in on one of them. Like this. And then it kind of like an eyelid. But this is his mask. And the bottom part comes down onto that bottom guideline and goes up and joins. And what we're going to do is double that up because it's like the inside of the mask eye. And on this side is eye. It's completely just dark. So his eye comes down. Very strange shape. It's kind of like doing ghost faces eyes. So it comes across. And that's the shape we're going for. A bit like a baked potato. And we're going to double this bottom line up for the inside of the mask side. And that goes all the way around. Then up here, and it curves up a few cracks into the eye. Same on this side, it's another crack of the mask. Okay, so here we're going to rub out the nose and move it higher up. The nose, circle with the bottom comes to there. We're going to do the nose one above that. So it's round. Like this. Then from the nose, you've got the circle there, then the lips here. So this is going to make his chin a little bigger, which is what we want. So the lips here, so basically here's the lips, I'm just going to rip that line out from that one, I'm going to redo the chin. Right, so where the lips are, that's where my line should be. So I don't think there's anything wrong. Yeah, so the lips are there. And that dimple there, and then the chin. 
Can be there. Right, so that's where we're putting his chin now, and then it curves up to that. Same on this side, how it will before to join up. So there. And the neck come down here. This is where his mask ends. Like that. Okie dokie, so we're back where we want to be. I always get the lips in the wrong area. And then the nose line there, boom. That is where your collar comes out. And then also, the middle of the nose, because we moved the nose, we need to move this hairpiece, why it looks like Elvis. So middle of the nose, about here. That's where the ear is, and then the hair. Going up. And on that side. Right, so now we're back. Just fill in his collar part. And his shirt comes round here. Shirt. And that's his boiler suit, shoulder, and this side comes about there. Right, so we've got his suit out. I've got some ripples there. So let's start by doing his nose. He has very, very heavy shadow here on his nose. So here, the nose is very strange, nose so curved at the bottom, and then down. That's like heavy shadow. So it goes like that. And this part's going to curve out. And then it got a big shadow here. This side. One nostril there. And then it comes out and around it there. Maybe a little square there. And then this side's all burnt. There's a lot of shadow here. I'm just going to shade in this a little bit for the nose area. Put some scratches down here. Underneath the nose, he's got the. Now the lips got like a smile, a sinister smile. Like that, 
it's a very dark line in the middle and then coming up some some marks here on the upper lip and again on this side same then the lip it goes a little further back and then up And the same on this side, it's quite a big, um, and then it's all burnt. Again, it's darker on this side. I just shade that in dark. And then the bottom lip. Out. You can see the shadow of the bottom lip. That diagonal, and then this is all burnt around here. So we'll do some texture marks that are all scratched and scuffed, and then we'll try to shade it in a little bit. Now I think I need to rub out some of the guidelines. So once you've got your guidelines rubbed out, some markings across the right eye so on this left side Dark on the top, dark on the bottom, and then his eyes pretty dark. I'm going to shade this one in completely dark. Then in the middle, we got all cracks. All these burns on this side. This side, just light shadow. So there, the shadow under the chin, and then you've got the dimple. Now I want to put a curve on this chin to make it less square, and then it comes up. Shade in this way, across 
So yeah, you've got no marks here. More damage to the mask. Here's the ear. And this obviously is where the hair is going to be coming out of different directions. Coming in and out all mushy. Now here, across the top I've got some more markings. around the eye. There you go, across the nose and up. Like this. I got some more creases going up the forehead. Like this. You need a very sharp pencil to do the do lines like this. Because the forehead it's got like a thumb print. These all go into what is like absolute burned, destroyed part of the face. All this around here is damaged. Even his mask's all damaged down here. All that's burnt. His ears all burnt and hair all burnt round here. Which one I'm just going to double up the line. Because it's like red. There's still here, and back that way. Around this side, we've just got all burnt hairs, big, thick gouge, gouge down that side. And this part's is burnt, burnt here, and that's his burnt hair that comes up and then disappears there. Oh that's like a bald patch. A top spike here. Some tufts on this side. Bent grass, and his head on this side comes around like that. So, under we've got a bit of shading. The chin, shape on the chin. Oh. 
Bring that down a bit. Same here. Top out there, then it curves. That's the mask. That's his collar. Very tough to get any sort of inkling of what to draw like that. So then I'm just gonna I'm gonna shade this in very light to represent the burnt. And again here it's this little burnt patch just coming through. So here there's more scratches across the middle to come. And the nose. Put a lot of shading around the eyes. Shadow here. Do a bit more damage and scratches around here. So just colour some light shading around the face. Do some scratches on the chin around jawline, curve the ear, some more scratches across the face, all across the head and the eyes, add a few more scratches here on the eye, above the eye, and on the fringe, just generally make some more markings, do some darker splotches, other burns that are deeper into the skin on this side shade that bit do a little bit more light shading under the neck and this is all the raw burnt hair That comes around, all burnt here, into the middle. And that's his neck. So this is a lot darker. Yeah. Colour this in dark here. Yeah. And then it all flicks out. Same here, all the burnt. The light is in this side of this hair. Well, this is like burnt grey wiry. Just going to do it in which way direction. Like this. It's almost like a comb over. 
on this side. Give it some colour to start with. All wiry and burnt and went any which way possible. And it has like a just put some little circular scribbles for the burnt mask. All the way. Oh, he's all burned. And the one across there that's really burnt dark. This side, I'm just gonna shade in his eye a little bit. It's basically, I think the best we can do on this particular drawing is shade this in, and his jumper, and then underneath he's got darker shadow here. It's dark on the inside. It's really dark on the neck. Shoulder bit here is dark. I mean, I might put it to a vault to see if it's any good to post because I don't know. But I would probably it. But if they want me to post it, I'll post. I think that's the best I can do for Mikey.